Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. I am back with another video, of course. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I got this red and black plaid winter Christmas type set. And the acrylic powders I'll be using are Nail House's Malt, of course, one of my favorite nudes in the world. And then I'll be using Nail, um, not Nail House's, Royal Nail Supplies uh, Cherry Color. Um, which I have something to say about that. But for the time being, of course I have one Nail House's 3XL square tips and then I have, or I will be using their um, 16 size 16 Kalinske brush and their monomer as well always. Excuse me y'all, don't mind me. I've been, transparency, I've been sitting here for four, like four hours editing this video. Like after I got off the premiere with you guys um, with that emerald green set, shortly after I started editing this video and just editing it, not even putting my voice over it. So I'm gonna be sitting here for another like hour and a half, something like that to, um, you know, get this done up for you guys tomorrow. Um, I don't think many people realize how much goes into like making videos and, you know, making good videos, good quality videos, and editing it, and all of those kind of things. Um, I don't mind it because I love what I do. It's just, it's just like a bit of, it's a bit time consuming. But like I said, I don't mind it because I love what I do, and I appreciate you guys, and I want to give you guys content. Um, but I said all that to say that I'm a little, you know, um, well, first of all. I'm over it because these nails took me forever. So it took me even longer, not even longer, but it took me long, very long to edit this video because these nails took me forever. Like, okay, so you guys are gonna see that in this video, I attempted to do this set with um with a plaid foil. Like I had my mind going into, I was gonna use this red foil, this red plaid foil that I got. Um, yeah, I was gonna use that for this entire set, but change uh, plans changed because you guys will see I attempted to use it and it just was a disaster. Like it, I don't know what was going on, but we're gonna get to that part. Um, yeah, so I said all that to say, just excuse me. Yeah, um, I'm going in now on the index, not the index finger. See, look, I'm already messing up my nails. I'm I'm already messing up the fingers. Like this is the pinky. I'm going in now on the pinky nail with um malt, and I'm gonna make in that. Is that a helicopter? That is so rude. Interrupting my video. That is so rude. I hope y'all can't hear that. But if y'all do, just excuse that. Anyways, um, I'm gonna be making this nail full nude as well as my middle finger nail and the thumbnail, and then I'm gonna go in with the red because I don't want to, of course, contaminate the monomer or my brush or anything like that. Um, yeah. Oh, and I just thought about something because this something just happened a few minutes ago. Um, Hamina, shout out to you, girl. She just texted me a few minutes ago and told me that somebody was in the comments, like, like a scammer was saying something about they, like, their child won something. And I came on, um, and I saw them in the comments talking about the winner of the giveaway text this number or something like that. Like, first of all, y'all know that I've been talking about this giveaway. I haven't even posted the video yet. So that's just weird. And then, like, the person who was trying to, um, impersonate me didn't even have the same name as me. Like, that's just weird. But y'all know, that's not me. I would never tell y'all to text some number or try to take no money or no no weird stuff like that. Like, that's weird. And I haven't experienced that in all of my time of being a YouTuber or, well, being a YouTuber. Now on YouTube, I, I've experienced, um some scamming or not really scamming stuff but like it's some impersonating stuff some of you guys may know some of you may not know but moving on from that just letting you guys know that was not me and you guys probably saw my community tab post um yeah that's just weird but i'm gonna be um i'm gonna be filming and putting up that i'm gonna be filming that giveaway video probably tomorrow and then have it up by thursday for you guys um and i'm super excited and um Another thing too is that I have to, when, once I get off here editing this video, I have to go ahead and do another set. I normally don't start late doing stuff. It's probably like 7 p.m. now. Oh, I'm talking about 7 p.m., y'all. It's 9.45 p.m. I'm dead. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm doing another set so I can have one up for it the next day. I promise you guys, and I'm going to do it. And yeah, yeah. But yeah, I just wanted to also let you guys know that that was not me. And then you guys know when I do giveaways, I announce the winners in a video with like, you know, in a video, like actually saying it and all of that. Like, yeah, but moving on.
actually not moving on because Zuleha just texted me and was letting me know what had happened, which I already know um, clearly because I'm telling you guys right now. But thank you, Zuleha, for letting me know. Um, as well as thank you, Jimena, for letting me know initially because I didn't know what was going on. I'm over here editing this video like I told you guys, mind my business, um, and I didn't see it until Jimena texted me. It came across the top of my screen, so I opened her message and I saw it, what she was saying. Um, as well as on the screenshots Zulay sent to me about, about the scammer on the comments. Um, Tony girl, I did not see your message. You are so funny. I didn't see your comment back to the scammer um, on the post. I don't know, maybe you guys deleted somehow or something like that, but you are funny. Thanks for having my back. Y'all, I just love this, um, not another helicopter. Like, what are you doing out there? It's being so rude. Like, I always hope I can't hear that, but I, I heard the last voice over and y'all could hear it a little bit. I'm sorry about that. But, um, no, I was saying that I really love, um, this acrylic, like, so much. I love No House's acrylic in general. Um, it lays so well, so, like, buttery and smooth. I just love it. And it's just, like, easy to work with. Um, even with it being colder and me adding acetone into the monomer so it can dry quicker. I just love it. I just love it. Um, and I believe they are still having their end-of-year sale right now. 25% off everything, if I'm not mistaken. Um, with the code BY20 two by 22 i believe so go check out their website the link will be in the description below for nail house
All right, y'all, so the nude application is pretty much done, and we're gonna move into doing the red acrylic application. And y'all, this acrylic powder right here, now I see what you guys mean. I don't think I've, I've used this acrylic powder a long time ago, but that was back when, like, I, I don't, I have a billion Royalty No Supplies acrylic powders when I used to use them back in the day, but I don't use them like that. Um, I just pull them out for some colors that I may need because I don't have this color in like nail house or anything like that. Um, Zulia has a really beautiful one like this that I saw her using yesterday that I, that I will probably get. But <clears throat> yeah, I don't use, I have a billion of them like I told you guys from back in the day, but I don't, I don't use the brand. But I see what you guys mean now when you say um, like some reds are hard to work with and honestly it's not even their reds some I, I'm it's not even really their reds I don't care for this formula like that for real um I think now because I'm experienced like the formula kind of bothers me and I'm not even trying to be funny I'm just being real with y'all like um and I thought like something was wrong with my monomer I'm like let me change out the monomer as you guys can see me doing um to see uh if it would be better but like this acrylic powder was just like a mess um but being being as that I'm really really good with acrylic and like you know working with acrylic because i've never had to i've never ever had to babysit an acrylic as much as i had to babysit this one if that makes sense to y'all like i had to be really really careful with this acrylic it was super sticky as you guys can see and it was just like a weird consistency and um i wanted to see if it was the acetone i wanted to see if it was all of that so like i told you i changed i completely changed out the monomer and all of that and it was just like weird like i had to babysit this acrylic so bad like I had to be very very careful first of all you got to be careful with pigmented very pigmented colors in the first place you don't want to get it like all over the place and all over your skin and stain it and all of that kind of stuff but this was just a crazy mess and like i said you guys cannot tell like it's not coming across on camera at all um how bad kind of this acrylic formula is because like i told you guys i'm really experienced with uh, with um acrylic and applying it like i'm really good at application and um so you guys can't really tell, but it was bad, y'all. Not even gonna lie. And I, I would never, you know, lie to y'all or, you know what I'm saying, recommend y'all something that I don't care for. Like, yeah. Um, beautiful color. Like, don't get me wrong. They have beautiful color. I don't, first of all, I don't even shop with them anymore. It's been years since I've done it. But, um, yeah, it was just bad, y'all. I had to, I had to really, really take my time with this and babysit it. Like I told you guys, like, it was just crazy. And don't take that wrong, y'all. I'm just gonna always be honest with y'all. Like, I'm never gonna just lie, like I like I just said. Um, as well, I just probably don't even have the same formula anymore. Like I said, it's been years since I've shopped with them. And, um, yeah, to each his own. I just wanted to clear it up because I know you guys can probably tell how sticky it looks because that does come across, like, how sticky it is on camera. Um, as well as how long it just took me forever to do this nail on the other one because I had to make sure the application came out um, as smooth as I could possibly get it because I didn't, you know, want it to be a total mess you know what i'm saying like and like i said because i am experienced um and i can pretty much work with any acrylic like any type of acrylic like, you just have to know the acrylic you're working with but um yeah you guys see this anyways moving on
Oh, and I did forget to say that I did add some clear acrylic into it because I thought maybe because sometimes when acrylic is bad you can add clear to make it a little better um especially highly pigmented colors because a lot of times with these very pigmented um dark colors um they are like a weird consistency and they don't have enough acrylic in it they have more pigment than acrylic so it does come out like a weird and um I have come across a bunch of really, really good formula, um, very high pigmented, very dark, high, high pigmented, um, acrylics. Like, hence, you guys saw the last video. Was it the last one? The one before the last one with Zule's Black Hole. Like, that was very, very pigmented acrylic, and I absolutely love it. Like, it's a very good formula. Zule's formula is very good. Um, just because it's highly pigmented or dark color doesn't mean it has to be a trash, trash formula. Um... And I'm just being honest, y'all. A lot of people say that it's hard to find a good black acrylic or a good red or white or anything, like, or you know, things like that. Um, but number one, um, Nail Houses, Nor, their black acrylic powder, bomb. Zule's Black Hole black acrylic powder, bomb. I've tried a, I've, um, tried a bomb white acrylic recently, which was Nail Houses, like, um, you know, and like I said, sometimes the darker or highly pigmented acrylic powders um, is like a weird formula because they have too much pigment in them. But that is not the case with, you know, all brands. Just saying. Anyways, moving on for this time. As you guys can see, I have moved on to encapsulating the nails in clear. And after that, we're going to move on to shaping and filing the nails. All right, y'all, so I just encapsulated those nails and now we're gonna move on to shaping and filing. And this time, y'all, I remembered to include some ASMR filing for you guys. I know you guys enjoyed that last time I included it, so I'm gonna include it in this video. And also, I wanna say, don't mind if it's not like I'm breathing really heavy. Um, it's because my face is right next to the camera. That's why it sounds like that. But anyway, enjoy this ASMR, y'all. Also, as always, we're gonna skip around the shaping a bit. Um, like usual because like i told you guys always to check out my full in-depth shaping tutorial if you guys want a full you know tutorial you can check that video out and the link to that video is in the description below Y'all, I laughed so hard when I heard that part of the video. I normally don't have the sound on when I'm um filming or whatever. And it's so funny when I'm doing this ASMR part and I hear myself like sighing when I'm filing. <laughs> like that was a deep sigh. Clearly I was over it. Like y'all, filing is a workout. Like filing nails is a whole workout. Like that's a whole workout. Especially for me because I really, really, really get in there. And look, I'm going super fast now. Like I'm clearly over it. <laughs> um yeah i like my nails like crisp and sharp so and the key to that y'all i gotta put some muscle in it i can't be weak when y'all filing nails like y'all gotta put some muscle in it and y'all gotta watch my shaping tutorial to learn how to file <laughs> but yeah And it's gonna 
always be the thumb for me but this is how we're looking with the nails completely shaped and filed now i'm gonna go in buff the nails clean them y'all you already know the whole process and then after that we're gonna move into this freaking design that took me five years like no literally it took me like six hours not even kidding like but we're gonna get into it we're gonna we're gonna get into it and see why it took me so long also i hope you guys enjoyed that asmr i'd be forgetting that y'all do um that some of you guys like it and i'll be forgetting to include it in the video like when i be filming y'all i'll be like listening to music in the background and i can't you know like keep the sound in but i decided to do it this time let me know if you guys want more asmr i can do it every few videos or every other video or something like that um let me know if you guys want more asmr anyways now i'm gonna go in i'm gonna be using my liner brushes from nail house um they're 25 millimeter and they're 12 millimeter those are my go-to brushes from their liner set i do highly recommend it um but anyway i'm going in with those brushes and i'm going to be applying the this red gel polish which is perfect red from madam glam and y'all i love this red so much it's like the perfect red literally and it's so pigmented like look at that that's so pigmented. Y'all already know how I feel about Madame Glam's gel polishes. But anyway, I'm going to go in on this pinky nail. And I'm going to be making half of it red. Because I'm going to do this like half plaid design. Um, and then I'm going to go in next on the middle finger and thumbnail with a French for my base. And you guys are going to see, like I told you guys, that I attempted to use this plaid foil that I got um, from AliExpress. And it's just some regular foil. Um, you guys are going to see here in a moment that um, it was a complete fail and you're going to see what I did to fix it. Just wanted y'all to see how pigmented this gel polish is. And that's just what a couple swipes, like one coat, nothing crazy. Like, Madam Glam, get you some. <laughs> so beautiful y'all i love a red nail like red nails is one of my favorite colors to do on nails um as well but y'all hear me out so the last time i used foil i thought it was because the foil glue that i had was old i had it for years it was super old so i ordered a new one and here's a new one and y'all for some reason i couldn't get this open like my cart what the hell how how like why did you close this tight like literally 
I could not open this for nothing. Like, I kept trying and kept trying. And I didn't want to bite it. I'm not a biter to open stuff, but y'all, I had to. I had to bite this to open it because it was crazy. I could not open it. And y'all, I'm pretty strong. Like, I could not open that. Um, so I had to bite it to open it. So there's my teeth marks, like, ghetto. And I put alcohol on it um, before and after doing that. That's why I was wet because, yeah, I don't play that. I'm a germaphobic. Anyway, um, anyways, y'all. So, yeah, I got some new... Um, foil gel from a cart i'm applying it to the nail now y'all and i'm gonna be using this foil that foil that i just showed you guys um this red one right here i'm gonna be using that to put on the nails and yeah it was just a whole fail like what well, wasn't a whole fail it didn't look too bad because when i did the pinky y'all i was gonna go with it like i was gonna go with it and then when i just kept doing it i'm like no nah, i'm not about to have do this y'all know i don't have do anything like if it didn't look a little bit right to me or i mean you know all the way right i mean i i i, I wasn't gonna do it and i could have easily like covered it up with some um because i was gonna be painting some designs on the nail as well so i could have easily covered it up and but it wasn't giving what i wanted it to give like i wasn't gonna just keep that and nah i'm not doing that so I ended up, like I said, I was going to go with it. That's why I continued to um, top coat the pinky nail. You guys can see, like, some, in some areas it didn't come off. And then, yeah, so I continued to top coat the pinky nail. And then I did this one. And I'm just like, no, nah, I'm not I'm not doing it. So, I was like, yeah, I'm just going to draw it. I'm going to just attempt to draw it. And, y'all, keep in mind, I've never, ever drawn a plaid nail before, ever. Um, but, yeah. And as you guys can see, I bought that up. And I threw it right in the trash right next to me, like... I could have kept it, but I wasn't going to give it to nobody. Like, I didn't even... Nah. Me and foils that have patterns do not get along. Foils that have, like, a clear base, like, a clear base and, like, a little design on it, um, I'm cool with that. But ones that have patterns, like, yeah, that those don't do it for me. I, I can't I can't deal with those. And I won't be using any more or buying any more. I don't buy foil. That foils... Actually, I bought that just for Christmas. I got it from AliExpress to do a Christmas set specifically with some plaid. But for now, I'm just going to be drawing it. Because, actually, I didn't do so bad with this plaid right here. I actually surprised myself. Um, but it was very, very, very time-consuming, y'all. Like, like I told y'all, I was sitting at my desk for, like, 5 to 6 hours from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. So, y'all do the math. Like, that was crazy. Um, drawing all of these little squares and stuff. But it was worth it. These came out beautiful. And I wouldn't, you know, I don't regret it. I don't regret anything. But anyway... Yeah, so to do a plaid nail, you want to start off, well, with my, the design I was doing. Um, the inspo was this right here off Google. I found just a picture of red and black plaid nails. And, um, yeah, so you want to start off with drawing, for this plaid design, drawing little black squares. And then you guys are going to see me mix some clear gel polish with black to make it like a very sheer black, if that makes sense. And the black that I made with the clear and the black base, um you know to like the sheer black to put over it like you guys will see um it came across more dark on camera than it was actually so i don't know why that was like that but yeah yeah but anyways i'm gonna kind of just go ahead and let you guys watch me do the plaid part this plaid part here and sorry y'all. at a point i kind of skipped around a bit because you guys saw for the most part like the gist of the design like, you guys got it but um I don't want to skip around too much because you guys like seeing the process, but I skipped around just a little bit because um, it was, after you guys saw the pinky nail, it was kind of repetitive, so I did skip around a little bit, but I didn't want you guys to still see, like, what I did and how I did it, so yeah. And then because I am doing a half design on this one, um, I'm doing half plaid, obviously, um, but you guys will see me do a full plaid type of thing on the um, middle fingernail with the French. But on the index nail, for sure, you're going to see a full plaid. I'm going to make that whole nail plaid design. Yeah. All right, y'all. So that's how that's looking. I'm just here in a lamp for 60 seconds. And... I'm going to take, like I told you guys now, some clear gel polish and then that same black that I was using, which is Perfect Black from Adam Glam. Mix those two together and then I'm going to and then create a like translucent black color um, to create that plaid type of look. And then we're going to just put it over the, the block of squares. You guys will see what I mean. Also, like I said, it does come across 
like on camera here looking at it like way blacker than it is but it's not that black i don't know why it came across like look, looking like that as well as i kind of just went in with this brush here and i just kind of um just did it really quickly and then i went in with my um skinnier liner brush to go ahead and just um clean up those edges if that makes sense so i didn't do it fully to the edge because i didn't want to mess it up i wanted to go in with a, a slimmer brush and just really like get in there with the details to make it um all come together if that makes sense and i did the same thing um vertical and horizontal you guys will see that of course At this point, I was like, okay, okay, it's coming together. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's coming together. I see the plaid. Like, I told you, I never did plaid before. Um, so, yeah, it was coming together. And I'm going to leave it like that for now. I'm going to go back and, you know, finish it. But I'm going to go in now on the... I'm just on the base of the plaid. Um, and the, the the inspo photo I got from Google with the, the black and red pattern, um, that didn't have it, but I wanted to add some white lines, which you guys will see me do once I'm done with the whole, the base of the plaid. And y'all, funny thing is when going into the set, because for my Christmas sets, I do, um, I have like a list of the ones I want to do, like kind of idea what I'm going to do with my Christmas sets. Um, so for this set here, I had it where I was going to create plaid on all the nails, but you guys know initially I was supposed to be using the foil. I did not at all, at all, intend on drawing plaid on all of these nails. I did not intend on it at all. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I was supposed to make all of these nails plaid, like the base of them, like even the ring finger and a thumbnail. But I'm like, that pinky nail, first of all, took me a while. Then I knew that this one would take me a while, but it, it took me less time because it was a fringe. It wasn't the whole nail. But like these two and then the index finger nail, when I, when I drew a whole plaid on that nail, like, yeah, I was over it, y'all. I was already here for hours and hours doing this. Hours and hours, money long voice, <laughs> okay? I was there for super long and I'm like, nah, I, there's no way I'm gonna be doing plaid on all of these nails. And then I thought too, because I initially thought too going into it like before, you know, going into doing the nails, I'm like, some sweater nails would be cute with this plaid design. That would be really cute. But I'm like, nah, I'm gonna do a plaid. But then when I started drawing it, I'm like, nah, okay, we're gonna do some sweater design in here somewhere because I can't, I can't draw a plaid on all of these nails. I mean, I could have, but it would have been taking me super long. It would have took me like seven hours. Um, drawing like tiny little squares like this, y'all, is not easy. And then like, you know what I'm saying? Drawing it all over the nail and then going in with the whole plaid thing, tracing the transparent black down the design, vertical and across. It's just, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, little, it's a little much, but um, it was worth it. It came out so beautiful. Um, I said all that to say, being that initially going into it, I was gonna do all the nails plaid. Um, I made the base of the nails red 
and it didn't matter that they were different reds because you guys know i did the red acrylic and then the gel polish and it is slightly different red um only because of the of it being encapsulated you guys know when you encapsulate a color it does change the color just a little bit well for me um i know i know i experienced that so it is a different red being that or had I used the plaid foil for the entire design, it wouldn't have mattered the base of the nails, like the color base of the nails, because it's not supposed to like, you know what I'm saying, peek through or anything like that. Um, I just do that just in case, like you guys know how you do foil, how you use foil and the, and sometimes when you pull up the foil, some of it can like come, not come off in like small little areas. I, I do that so that if it does not, come off in a certain area like it's not that noticeable because the the bottom of the like underneath is the same color i hope that's making sense to y'all so that is why it didn't matter that they were different colors being as that i had to go ahead and draw these on the nails the index finger nail looked a bit different than um just a tiny bit looked a bit different than the rest of them with the red gel polish underneath as you guys can see right now um and you guys will really see once i get into it that it looks a bit different but it didn't matter because at the end of the day like when i was completely done with the set you could barely even tell the difference like you could barely even tell but during it like once i you guys will see just in a little bit here how it looks a bit different because the colors are a little different that's all i was trying to say <laughs> Okay, so clearly I wanted to show y'all that, um, show y'all ourselves on the premiere we had the other day with the black, um, winter nails. If you guys have not seen that video, go check it out. But shout out to all of you who were in that chat. Um, I told you guys I was doing some plaid nails in the chat of that video. So yeah, that is yourselves. And shout out to all of you who be in the premieres watching and supporting me every single time or sometimes, or even be in there and don't comment because you're a silent, you know, you're like you know a silent subscriber and you just like to watch and you don't like to comment that's fine as well i appreciate all of the love and all of the support even from people who don't even be in the premieres and you're just a you know a subscriber and you support me and watch my videos i appreciate all of you so so much i'm sorry okay so now i'm going in with some white gel polish number 21 from zule's um gels and i'm just outlining the I'm outlining the design. I wanted to do a half, you know, a little design on the pinky nail, like I told you guys. So I'm just outlining that half with the plaid and then kind of put a little line to do like a little plaid looking thing or two lines. And then I did it on the middle finger as well. And then I did it on the index fingernail, but I don't know why I put all those white lines. I thought it would be cute, but I didn't like the way it looked. So it wasn't given. So I went ahead and erased it or um, took it off and just put one little line like the rest of them or for the like the the middle finger nail anyway just hold one little line and now i'm going in on the pinky nail and i'm just drawing a snowflake design one of my favorite snowflakes um to draw i'm drawing just one i did draw a smaller one at the bottom of the pinky nail as well but i erased it because it didn't look right and yeah and then i just drew like some sparkles and then some snow you guys will see but i'm going to go ahead and let you guys watch and just not be talking so much <laughs> Oh, you guys see what I mean when I said that the index finger nail is a bit different in color, the red part, than the rest of the nails. I mean, yeah, so it looks a little different because that is the acrylic underneath there. But anyway, so going in with the part that most of you may want to see <laughs> is this little cute reindeer. And I got this um, inspo, the reindeer inspo from someone on Instagram. I have to find his name. Hold on. So his name is Steve Nelda, and how cute is this reindeer right here? He had a little tutorial on there and everything. It was so super cute. I'm like, I have to try this. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm drawing right here. And it doesn't look, you know what I'm saying, like all that good. I think it came out pretty cute. I think it came out pretty cute for my first time attempting this little reindeer. Um, also, this does look a little weird. Like, 
you guys are gonna see what I mean too when I, once I start feeling in the reindeer like the the nail is kind of like um the plaque kind of protrudes off the nail a little bit um but it's not that noticeable um sorry I keep saying um 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 I say that a lot but sorry not sorry <laughs> um I just did it again <laughs> <laughs> it protrudes the plaid design protrudes off the nail a little bit so it does look a little weird and i applied three top coats of this white here because um because the base was kind of black i needed to do a couple coats or a few coats because it wasn't like um opaque enough so yeah i did that and it's, it's gonna look it's not gonna look so weird once i finish complete the design on all the nails and top coat them it's not gonna look so weird but at this moment the plaid design kind of protrudes off the nail and you can kind of see it but anyway um i'm going to now with the little antlers um how cute are these and i'm going to be using beetles gel polish whatever that number was there a second ago <laughs> yeah to create the little antlers or whatever and now i'm just going to go in and create the same little snow design that i did on the pinky nail as well as a couple little sparkles also we are going to be doing that little 3d effect that he had there on his reindeer we are going to be doing that but you guys know what i told you before when you're doing 3d nails and like pour any type of acrylic over design or anything like that you want to go ahead and top coat the nail first so that's why i'm just finishing up and completing the design that i did on you know with the stars and all of that and antlers and all of that before i go ahead and like i'm doing now and tracing the reindeer and then i'm going to pour the acrylic over top and cure in the lamp for 60 seconds and yeah and then i'm gonna apply a little diamond like he had a little um stone a red little stone for the nose which is so super cute y'all that little touch was so cute shout out to him for the um reindeer inspo All right, y'all. So I just went in with my Zule Bling adhesive, of course, and then I just apply a little Siam stone for the nose. And how cute is that, y'all? That is so cute. Now I'm going in and I'm just gonna create um, a sweater nail on the ring finger nail and the thumbnail, and then we're gonna be done. As you guys see, I do like to go in after I'm done with my sweater nail designs and go ahead and take a wipe with some alcohol and wipe the nail off because, you know, just to get up any remaining acrylic residue because if you don't do that, then when you take your pictures and videos with the flash, it will show up like a weird looking, a little weird looking. Um, It's kind of inevitable to have like a little reflective because it is clear acrylic. It does come off as reflective. Um, Y'all, I'm there. Right now, I'm just adding one tiny little snowflake right there because, y'all, details matter. I pay close attention to details and um, it looks like something was missing right there. So, I just added one little snowflake. But, and I didn't want to open the whole bottle to do. So, that's what I, that's what I was doing there anyway. Um... Yeah, you want to wipe the nail off after doing that. Anyways, this is how they are looking, y'all. These came out so super cute, y'all. I'm not going to lie. I'd be, like, sad that I don't keep my nails on. But it is what it is. At least I get to share it with y'all. look back on them. And maybe one day I'll wear them. Maybe one day I won't. Who knows? Anyways, going to enter the final results now. Y'all, these came out so freaking cute. I love them so much. I'm loving the red. 
loving the plaid y'all it came out so cute like the plaid came out really really cute i'm so glad that the foil messed up and i decided to go ahead and attempt to draw it and it came out really really good like it came out really cute even better than the foil if i do say so myself what do you guys think they came out cute as well with no bling like well the nose is bling but it don't have no bling and it's so cute i think that no bling was perfect because it would have taken away from the design i love this so much um I love that it was all hand painted. I gave myself a pat on the back. <laughs> Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Um, and turn on your bell notifications so you're notified every single time I post a new video if YouTube does their job. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now. Ooh, ooh.